We are on. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Kingpin's 24 Amsterdam edition. We're Today is the second day of our program. And the theme of the day is innovation. 15 companies from the supply chain will tell us their latest in technology, transparency, and industry shift. And I, I decided I'd look up on the on the on a dictionary what is an what is an innovation, just mm -hmm. to be sure that we didn't make a mistake. And it's supposed to be, it's very simple. It's supposed to be something new. So that's it. That's so it. And then hopefully that's the idea of our show is that we also show things that are new. I'm pretty sure that the, the program today is going to be something really new for everyone. Um, and we want to introduce our sponsor today, Andrew. This is a, a really great thing for us because we have had two companies step up during these COVID times and support us with sponsorship for which we're incredibly grateful. So I don't see them. Are they both online here? We'd like them to see their pictures. The video has to be. There we are, there's Murat. Murat and Arvin, Mr. Arvin. Hi, how are you? Hello. Good to yeah. be here. It's Good really, morning. really nice of you to join us and to sponsor our, our events. So first of all, I can't give you physically a bouquet of flowers, but metaphorically, we send them. And thank you very much for this. Th thank you very much. Also, thank letting us time. join very us. Much. It's good to be here. It's a lovely sign for what we believe in because it's collaboration. And collaboration for us is the key word of the next generation of our industry in so many levels. So again, thank you. Do you mind to both both of both of you tell us um, what your companies do, and so that everyone is aware, and what, a little bit about yourselves? That would be great. Then we start there. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Murat from uh, company Kipash, and uh, uh, I'm responsible right now um, driving the sales of uh, Kipash in UK. Um, I'm also leading uh, Kipash uh, UK office. Uh, right now, and uh, we are one of the uh, leading company uh, in uh, Turkey in textiles, uh, fully vertical from spinning uh, to uh, garment making. And our, um, of course, uh, key productions are the fabric production. Uh, we are um, uh, one of the biggest uh, denim uh, producer out of Turkey. We do uh, almost uh, four and a half million meters per month. Um, fabric production uh, in denim and uh, 3.5 uh, millimeters of uh, non-denim production as well. So in total, like eight millimeters per month. Um, Thank uh, you. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Arvind? Mr. Arvind? Yes, hi. Um, so, uh, this is Arvind Mathur. I am the CEO for Raymond Duco, Raymond Duco. We, uh, our manufacturing is located in India. Uh, but we've been supplying all over the world. Uh, we've been in existence for, 20, this is our 21st year, so we are a, a veteran in the industry, in a way. Uh, we do about 42 million meters, that's our capacity for fabric. We also do garmenting. Uh, and again, our clients are the world over. We have a presence in India, but largely internationally. Uh, we, we love to be here. We, we want to hear what you do, what, what others do, uh, coming across, getting connected. So uh, we just look forward to this. Yesterday was, I believe, a very good session. And uh, we have this three days coming. So looking forward to our participation and everybody else's. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, so I think we have a few questions. Andrew, do you want to ask? Yeah, I'm really interested. I'm really interested in what what was um, the motivating factor for you wanting to sponsor us. We're key. To, we're key to understand that. Maybe Mr. Murad. Um, we believe uh, Kingpins is the um, the real platform for the denim lovers, and uh, a spot where all our uh, valuable uh, members of the denim industry get together. Um, so in both uh, China and uh, 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 Amsterdam, Europe. So uh, both uh, fair is very important for us. And we think like Kingpins is the 
passionate about denim and uh, conscious of the impact the industry has on the environment uh, and wants to change it for a better. So this is uh, what we think Kingpins is for us. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So I think Andrew, you have the same question for me. I do. Say, well, Murat has expressed it very well. Uh, first of all, we have a very long association with you, with Kingpins. So we know what we, we know each other well. Uh, I think, uh, as was said, it's a great place to connect. For us, it's important that we get across to our customers, existing or potential, present to them what we have. And, and so it's a great place to present, discuss, and of course, learn. Uh, it's also a great place to a platform for connection with the entire value chain uh, of the denim world. So you're talking of supply, you're talking of fellow uh, mills, you are talking of uh, brands, of course. So, and, and that is where, um, and I think something which Murat also mentioned, it's about your being passionate about denim, something you've been heralding the causes, various causes, and that really attracts us to the platforms. So, a lot of knowledge learning, meeting of minds, et cetera, happens. Uh, one amongst the causes which you are, you've been sort of uh, taking forward is of course the circularity in denim. You're talking of transparency. You're talking of, uh, you of course espouse uh, innovation and social, uh, that whole space. And lately your digitalization part, you've sort of got into with the, with the digital exchange, the material exchange and all that, that whatever you've done I think that's just in time. So you are also forward looking. So for us, it's a great platform to be here and we value, really value it. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Thank we you. talk about innovation because today is about innovation. So can both gentlemen tell us a little bit in very short time, what's your number one innovation? Mr. Moret? Yeah, actually, um, you know, uh, all of us in, our um, denim world we do like we try to do technical products this is one case but um, our main goal as a company uh, right now we are focused on uh, like full fully for the sustainability um, in all our uh, production lines uh, this is uh, a key point for us for actually for almost more than uh, eight years and we invest a lot uh, in this part. So we are um, reducing every single year our um, uh, water and energy consumption because as a leading company um, in Turkey and also in, uh, in the world, uh, we use all our sources, but we need, uh, we need to get it back um, to, to the community. So what we do, uh, we do uh, projects with our um, uh, clients. For example, we start with P uh, PVH uh, uh, and uh, about 100% uh, uh, recycled denim. So we were uh, one of the first company uh, in the market. And then we develop um, uh, several uh, uh, processes, like we call it Other Blue, InnoSec. Uh, Sigma Consor Blue uh, Technologies, which reduces uh, all energy and water con consumption. Um, and also uh, we are doing some uh, uh, projects with um, uh, our other uh, brands and uh, we are like recycling uh, also uh, the garment. We start right now a project to um, recycle uh, garments into the uh, fabrics as well. So uh, uh, pre-consumer and post-consumer uh, uh, recycled products is our uh, uh, key points right now. Um, and uh, uh, this is actually uh, the, uh, the main uh, developments that we do. Of course, the customers are asking, you know, like we explain how we uh, do these processes, how we uh, develop our uh, uh, fabrics in this line. Uh, so we need to show them exactly how we um, trace this. So 
you know, everybody uh, explains about like we are recycling um, the fabrics into the um, yarns and then we um, uh, create the product and it's like 80% uh, uh, pre-consumer or like 20% uh, uh, regular cotton or like 100% recycled uh, pre-consumer or like 20% post-consumer. But of course, all these um, has, I mean, we think we have to trace all these data and give uh, uh, our clients uh, a, a real uh, aspect about uh, our production. So we give uh, all our partners uh, uh, how we reduce our uh, water consumption, how we reduce our energy consumption uh, in their uh, existing orders. Uh, where we do some projects. Plus, uh, uh, there is a, a very important project which we are working on um, is uh, we put a um, tracer uh, into the yarn. Uh, so in a, like cutting yarn. So we give all uh, the information about uh, ev every single uh, step of our uh, production, where the yarn uh, where the fiber comes from, uh, so uh, in which article uh, we use uh, that fiber, all the details we uh, supply to our uh, customers. So actually, this is the uh, main innovation that we work on. And uh, uh, of course, uh, always like sustainability uh, will be the key point, and uh, we develop. Uh, uh, that part uh, like every single uh, year and also we are asking uh, our clients uh, to push us more on this side uh, this is our goal and uh, yeah the main uh, goal is to close the loop uh, of the production so this is our uh, key point actually thank, thank you. you Mr. Morad thank you. So I think, uh, yes uh, it's pretty much uh, similar, so I won't try to, I won't repeat many things, but uh, uh, it's really about rather than laying emphasis on one single item of innovation, and as Andrew said earlier, innovation is of something about new. So what's really happening, it's about directionally what is happening new. So I would like to talk one whole piece, which is comprising of various components, and it's in the space, similar space, as Murad mentioned, it's about circularity and uh, sustainability, and it's about working with the partners. So our partners are the brands. We are collaborating with them. It's all about collaboration here. We look at new things. Uh, of course, we bring our piece, they bring their ideas, and together we work on rethinking and redesigning both the products and processes. So you cannot have it either one way. I mean, you have to do the complete piece. So it's about innovating products and processes all together. Uh, we, and, and that is where this whole piece about redesigning of uh, all these aspects come in. And uh, just to give you an example in terms of raw material where we have started using PCW, post-consumer waste cotton, we have really stretched the boundaries. We reached 35% now and stretching to 50. Uh, so that is something which we, we are, we understand and we believe we are the pioneers uh, or one of the leaders here. Uh, we, we are also using all kinds of uh, various types of raw material now, of uh, natural ones like hemp and linen and we are, we have launched these products. So there's been a lot of innovation in this space in terms of raw material usage, about uh, using recyclable material and biodegradable material and the natural stuff like hemp and linen and, and PCW. Uh, in terms of processes, we have also had to engage and work together because you cannot deliver uh, the whole piece unless until you take care of the processes. Uh, and it's been all about less water, less energy, less chemicals and less waste. And just to quote example, our ETP today uh, treatment plant, we have zero liquid discharge. So we've achieved that level for a while now. Over the last four years, we've already saved about 10 million kilowatt of energy. So that's about cutting down, so giving some examples. Um, each of these require innovation. And I think the most important piece is to have that mindset to innovate and continuously improve. We are on a journey. We are. I, 
I guess there is a question. Yeah, I think Ms. Moran, you can answer that after we um, we start our program. You can text back. All right. Um, right now, we have you know uh, tons of programs that need to yeah. <laughs> catch up. Um, so, thank you very much for your uh, attending in the morning for us. And then um, we're looking forward to to talk more uh, in the next two days with you guys. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.